Hey folks, uh, this is going to be my uh, first in a series of uh, Walgreens Reveals. I got this idea because I watch all these reveals. Whoa, am I still on? I'm. There we go. Uh, I don't know if that blinked out for you, but it did for me. I got this idea from watching all these reveals, these unboxings and stuff that have been popular forever on YouTube. And I was walking home from Walgreens, which I go to at least once a day, <clears throat> and I was thinking about uh, the things I purchased, and I I thought that um, I thought that my thoughts were uh, quite valuable uh, to share with the world, right? So um, so I'm going to do an unveiling, and uh, you know I haven't planned ahead for this and may, done a better background or whatever, but and if you'll forgive me, it's really hot in here so if you were thinking that was going to be some joke like i i pulled up pulled that off and and there was some uh, going to be some funny thing under there then that's just the first disappointment um you will feel uh from this video um oops i tried to lower the thing but by the way uh here we go rex hobart and the misery boys that's from back in the day right Okay, um, so here we go. Let's get to it. <laughs> Smash that subscribe button. I don't even know if I have one. Here it is, Walgreens. Does that show up backwards or forwards for you? Just a few items here. I went, uh, I went to Walgreens to buy some garbage bags. And um, uh, I got these. I got these. I got the, uh, the nice... Uh, brand garbage bags um, one thing I've learned in my life is that there are times to go with the generic and there are times not to do that um, as much as we you might want to save money and um, and usually when the generic is the exact same thing as the branded item Go with the generic. Why wouldn't you? For example, uh, here's some wall drill. <laughs> I uh, why would you buy Benadryl when it's the exact same? In fact, it says right here, compare compare to Benadryl. It's the exact same ingredients. So why should I pay big Benadryl extra money for their their brand name um, now at the same time what you save like 50 cents or a dollar is that worth it well it's not so much about saving the money although at times I've been so poor that that would have been uh, something important but it's more about um, not being a dupe and that's a really important uh, thing uh, to me throughout my whole life that that uh, we're a, we live in a culture of deceit and we're all being duped the the economy is built on deceit. Um, so, but there are times when the branded product is the best product. For example, I learned this lesson years ago. I like to make uh, baked chicken in the oven, right? I have my own secret marinating sauce, which is the same secret sauce that a lot of people, I think, use. But... Um, you know, I, I prefer chicken thighs is what I've been into lately. And I stick those babies in the oven, season them up, right, 350, let them fly for about 45 minutes or so. Um, and uh, and so, of course, I put tin foil. I take the pan, I put tin foil on it. I don't know why people do that. I do it. Does it, is it just to keep the pan clean? Does it prevent sticking? I, I really don't even know why. But, um one time I tried to save money by buying the cheapy house brand dollar store or, or wall foil or whatever it was. And that stuff sucked, man. Like just, you know, the part where you tear it off and the, it was, the stuff was flimsy and it just like broke. And I learned, you know what, pony up the extra 50 cents for and I, and I hate to endorse any large corporation, but I go with the Reynolds. I'm sorry, people. Sometimes that's the right thing to do. You can't be too driven by ideology, right? So, but in this case, 
Um, and, and garbage bags, too. I have I've once did buy uh, some uh, cheap-ass garbage bags that tore and split and didn't do the job. But in this case, uh, the garbage bags that I need are mostly for waste basket size. And they don't need to hold up that much just to get from there to the recycling in the alley. Um, and I have found that these... Uh, these types do the job. That's why I just have the medium because I once bought the smallest size because we were using someone else in the house. I have two housemates was buying the full size. And when you use those, even in our kitchen waste basket under the sink, you're wasting half of that bag space. And that, that just gnawed at me. And um, not even for a for financial reasons, just just because it's just because it wasn't right, okay, people. So then I bought the smallest. I went. And I'm going to go get the garbage bags, and I bought the smallest size, and those only filled about half of the waste basket. And so then you're having to take the garbage out all the time, and that's not really doing the job. You couldn't fit a lot of stuff in there. So I arrived at the mediums, and um, I've. I found that I can use the house brands, uh, this nice being, now there's also, a, I, I suspect these are the old house brands. They're, they're really probably trying to clear these off their shelves at Walgreens because now there's a brand called Home, which appears to be a house brand. But I found that these can do the job for my uh, uh, purposes. Um, I did, do notice here that these include the twist ties, which... I, I try to avoid, that's just a real waste because I just tie them up myself or don't tie them because they're going into the garbage anyway and they just, you know, the, the, the truck lifts the stuff up and dumps it out and it doesn't really need to be twist tied and those always go to waste anyway. So, so this was my purchase at Walgreens. But here's the thing now, many of you know this. Many people say this about Target. Uh, um, some people in my family would say this about Target. You can't just go in there and get one thing or go in there and get the one thing that you intended to. And um, so I did get a couple of other things that I think bear uh, comment. I'm a big uh, gum chewer. I love to chew gum. I love bubble gum, but of course, uh, sugarless, you know, because, I mean, let's face it. I mean, I mean you don't want to rot your rot your teeth away. Sugar is, I love sugar. I have a sweet tooth, but it is kind of the enemy. Um, of course, in moderation, I don't believe in cutting whole food categories out of your diet. I mean, live life, people, and eat a donut, for God's sakes. But, um, but uh, you know, they have, for, for many years, uh, adequate to... I mean, really fine working uh, sugarless bubble gum. And, um, you know, I have always preferred the hubba bubba because I like to say hubba bubba and uh, that sort of thing. But oftentimes just when I'm just lazy and I go to the gum aisle and I, you know, even the, the, the choices in the supermarket or, or just at Walgreens are overwhelming the paralysis of choice or whatever that, that phrase is that people have talked about for a long time. And but one thing I, I, I learned recently in the same manner is I, I, I the last time I did this, I got Orbit and um, which I believe is made by the same company is that they're both uh, as uh, this this trident here. They're both Wrigley. Aren't they both Wrigley gums? Well, let's see. I guess trident is Mondelez, which is also a really gross Chicago company. So maybe Orbit is the Wrigley gum, and that stuff sucked, man. Like you know, definitely if you're you have a choice, go with the tr the no pun intended tried and true Trident. Although there are probably even better choices out there. The packaging is a little annoying. Annoying here is you have to figure out how to freaking get this plastic uh let's see get this plastic open let's see i think this is a tool for uh eyeglasses that uh can be the most valuable tool in your home for so many reasons right now my mom is saying oh 
gonna cut yourself. Or it's gonna slide into your hand. And then I'm gonna go on untold stories of the ER with the, oh my God, it's lodged in my hand. Ah. And um, I love that show, Untold. Although the recreations are so hacky. Um, but I mean, this is kind of clever packaging, but at the same time, then it's kind of it's kind of hard to pull out. Oh, the the hardships we endure, and then I guess that's not bad. This is better, I guess, than the orbit because the orbit has this white stuff behind here that also gets kind of torn out, and then you then you have to like throw that out. You have to it, be, it just recreates more garbage. So anyway. Um, yeah, and you know, I remember that for old times' sake, they had the, you know, the the big strips of gum and so on. And I don't know, maybe we'll talk about gum some more some other day. And then, I I uh, I don't eat candy bars very often, um, uh, but my my favorite candy bars when I do is have always been Crackle, and uh, what you call it, except, you know. The candy bar industry has just shrunk these things so much. It just, uh, again, we are, we're just being uh, duped. Uh, but I, uh, I felt like I needed a little bit of a sugar uh, boost this morning. And um, I'm a sucker. I'm a, I, I, sometimes I give in to being duped, and I'm a sucker for this. They had the, uh, they had the Hershey's milk chocolate at two for one. And um, these are a little unsatisfying because you, you eat one and you kind of want more. And so then I get two. And then they did the two for a dollar. So I can't, you know, look, two for a dollar. How am I not going to, how am I not going to do that? Right? I just noticed that then they have this thing for s'mores on the back there to make s'mores. I'm not really going to do that. Um, but you can scan here for more information if, if you need to. So... I'm going to try to avoid looking at the, all those ingredients because um, I've been eating a lot healthier over the last year. So um, anyway, that's my that's my Walgreens reveal edition number one. And uh, I think I'll, I think I'll keep doing keep doing these and um, put them up on the Beachwood channel and you can subscribe and maybe maybe I'll start a whole bunch of different uh, reveals uh, as we go along if people want them. Well, uh, that's all we have for today. Um, I don't have any kind of a sign-off or theme song, so I'm going to go work on that right now.